for this next video, you'll see that I have changed my categories and my grade items. I'm now going to mark my students based on unit 1, 2, 3, and 4. And in each one of the units, students are going to complete a skills quiz, an application assignment, and a unit test. Now let's take a look at how we can tie in assessment tools in Brightspace to our grade tool. First, let's take a look at how we can tie a quiz into our grade tool. So I'm going to click on the quiz icon across the top. I'm going to create a new quiz, and I'm going to call this uh, skills quiz, and this is going to be in our unit one. I can categorize my quiz, but that's not what we're going to be talking about in this video. Next, I'm going to click on the assessment tab across the top. I want to make sure that I check off allow item to be sent to grade item immediately upon completion. Now I want to select which grade item I'm going to attach this quiz to. This is a unit one skills quiz, so from the drop down, I'm going to select skills quiz. Finally, under Auto Export to Grades, I need to make sure that this is checked off too. So when the students complete this quiz, it will automatically be marked and sent to the grade item. Now I just hit Save and Close. I go back to the Grade tool, and in Manage Grades, you'll see that the Skills Quiz is connected or associated with a quiz. We can do the same thing with the Dropbox tool. So I'm going to go into the Dropbox. I'm going to create a new folder for a Dropbox. I'm going to call this application unit one. I do want to have email notification when my students hand this in. I can categorize this Dropbox. I can put in a score out of. I'm going to change this to, I'm going to put in 20. And now I can link to one of the existing grade items or I can create a new grade item. But because I've already created a grade item for the application assignment, I'm going to select it from the drop down list. Click save and close. And now when I go back to the grade tool, under Manage Grades, you'll see that the application assignment is connected to a Dropbox. So when I mark the student's assignment in the Dropbox, the grades will automatically be exported to this grade item. But what happens if we don't already have a grade item for a quiz or a Dropbox? Let's take a look at that. You'll see in Unit 4, I don't have a skills quiz or an application assignment grade item. So I'm going to go into my quiz tool. I'm going to create a new quiz. This time it's going to be the skills quiz for unit four. I can categorize it. When I go over to the assessments tab, I want to make sure I check off allow attempt to be set as graded immediately upon completion. I would only select this if all of the questions in your quiz are self-marking. Next, from the grade dropdown, you'll see that I don't have a skills quiz under unit four. I'm going to have to create an item. So I'm going to do that, add grade item, and I'm going to type in skills quiz, and I can select what category to put this into. I'm going to select unit four. Down here, I can say maximum number of points, and that will be dictated by the number of questions that I put into this quiz later on. But for now, I'll say 15, and the weighting, I'll put in as 20. Finally, click save and save and close. Now, when I go back to my grades tool in the manage grades section, when I scroll down, I'll see that under unit four, I now have a skills quiz that is going to be using a quiz in Brightspace. Let's do the same thing for a Dropbox. I'm gonna create a new Dropbox. I'm gonna call this application assignment, and this is going to be for unit four. I'm gonna scroll down I can categorize it if I like. I can put in what I'm going to mark it out of. And now I can select a grade item, but you'll see that in Unit 4, I don't have anything for application assignment. I have to create a new grade item. It's going to be a numeric grade item. Now I have to put in the name. I don't need to put a short name in. Select the category where I want this grade item to go into. And let's say I forgot to put that in. That's fine. I'll show you how to move that afterwards. And click Save and Save and Close. When I go back to my Grades tool, and under Manage Grades, you'll see that there's the application assignment, and it is a Dropbox assignment, but it's not part of Category 4. So I need to fix that. The way I can edit this grade item is simply click on the link, and then select the category that I want it to go into, save and close, and now when I go down to Unit 4, it is indeed in the category for Unit 4. I'm going to create one last grade item here for Unit 3. It's going to be a Dropbox assignment new folder and it's going to be an application for unit 3. Scroll down, category unit 3, it's going to be marked out of 50. Grade item, not there, so I have to create one. Numeric and application, 
short name I don't have to worry about. I want to make sure it goes into Unit 3 and then click Save and Save and Close. Now when I go back to my Grades item and Manage Grades tab, you can see that I am getting a couple error messages here where Unit 3 and Unit 4 are only adding up to 90, so I have to take a look at that. And also, I don't really like the order of the assignments in Unit 3 and in Unit 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is reorder everything. So Unit 1 and 2 were good. Unit 3 and 4 were a little bit of a mess. I'm going to move the application assignment up one, and I'm going to move the quiz in Unit 4 up, and the application assignment up as well. And I'm going to click Save. It looks like everything is ordered the way I want it to be. Now I have to take a look at the weighting, and I can see that the application assignment for Unit 3 is only weighted 10%, and the same thing for the application assignment in Unit 4, and those are the two that I have to fix. By selecting them and then clicking on Bulk Edit, I can change both of them at the same time. The max points I'm not worried about right now, but the weighting should be 20 for each one of these. Click Save, no messages at the top, and I'm good to go.